Once again, it's time for a couple of cold ones with Corin Carlisle. You always got to jump in there, don't you? Man, I thought you were going to do it with me. I thought we were going to do it together. Corey and Carla. Oh, so you, you, you got to be on your own, don't you? Always got to do run this show on your own. We are we are quite literally sitting here having a couple of beers. We're drinking beers and talking. And you know, and we do this every Sunday on a Sunday night. On a Sunday night, I'm always here, and Carlisle's always here, and I appreciate your dedication to this because nope. people like it. No problem, brother. Mm. So, all right, so big weekend damn. actually. Really, lots of stuff going on. No, a lot of things did happen. So, what do you want to do? You want to go to the top five first? Let's do the top five first. That, uh, let, you wrote it down this week. <laughs> let's let's make let, let's make that the top of our our thing. We've got the we've got the top five. Yeah, go ahead and get that shit out the way. All right. It. You know what? It's another one of those weeks that that just makes you want to smack Americans. But I told you what would happen, and you didn't believe me. Now hold on one second. I knew you were going to do this too. Well, I how did you know? Because you knew I was I right. I looked at the list. No, I looked at the list every time. I, I'm right about 90, 95% of the time when it comes to this stuff. The one time I'm no, wrong, you're not you right 99% gotta, of the time. You always time. gotta point it out. You have a track record of being wrong about this shit no, a lot. No, no, no. The top not five? This. No, you, not Because you, what you do is you, I told you this last week, what you do is you, you think about what you want to be number one is no. what you like. No. No, you I, thought okay. Go, now, you know hold what? on. Now, right. the movie that I thought was going to be number one because of Valentine's Day, and because it was a superior film, was getting a lot of good buzz. I told you wasn't going to be. <clears throat> Don't look at oh, me like that. I, I'm right. I, I was actually right once, so I'm going to mention it like three or four I'm times. Right, a lot. But you go yeah, ahead. Yeah, you're right, a lot. My ass. <laughs> number now, number five. Was definitely maybe. Definitely maybe, yes. And uh, that was, uh, it made $9.7 million this weekend. Which is probably the best, as far as critics go, the best reviewed movie this week. And it was, you know, it's tied for my second favorite, not only of the weekend, but what's come out this month so far. I mean, it really was a good film. I, I didn't see it. You did. I took your I, word for I it. I know. And the review's still not up. I, I don't know what's going on with that. Well, I'll, I'll explain that later, mm-hmm. but... but uh, but yeah, so yeah, we, but it we, did. Now, now, the week, and I told you we were coming number five. I told you that. No, no, you you did, you said it wasn't going to be number one. No, I said it's probably going to come in number five. Yeah, yeah. yeah I did. wish I had a recording of that. Yeah, to tell you, you wish but, you did because you 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 know it would be nice to show that you were right once. So then, of course, Fool's Gold was number four, which really that now if anything depresses me this weekend, it's that Fool's Gold, the you know the the rental at best film from yeah. last week beat out. One of the better film, the film that's going to have some traction, definitely, maybe, and that did like thirteen point one million this weekend. And that's Fool's just, Gold did thirteen point one million. Yes. Now keep in mind that that number they didn't. I couldn't find the actual number for the uh, uh, including Valentine's Day because for some reason they decided, for some dumbass reason, they decided not to include the Valentine's Day numbers with a bunch of the things. from from Thursday. They didn't include those numbers. Yeah. Now why, why did they do I that? I found that for most of them, but. You know, because that was the big thing. The movies opened on Thursday, not Friday. So exactly. That actually changes number two and three. What you're going to see in a lot of the press tomorrow is number two and three is actually swapped for the weekend, but we'll get there. Number three was Spiderwick Chronicles. Yes. That did 19.1 million mm-hmm. this weekend. And the number two was Step Up 2, which did 19.7 million. But if you include Valentine's Day, they're flipped. Are they? Because but not, not by much, though, right? Uh, by about half a million dollars. Okay, that's not I much. I mean, Spiderwick Chronicles did 26.8 for the weekend, and Step Up 2 did 26.3. By the way, Sp- I am so disappointed in you guys. It, what, in me? In, in both you and the co-host. What I, do you mean, in us? What, I, what, I, what, I watched your review of Step Up 2. Okay. Now, what? we are film critics. In the history of film critique, there is one sequel that we bring up every time there's another sequel to something. When there's a part two of anything... Electric Boogaloo? Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> now, this film is actually the Electric Boogaloo of the Step Up series. It yes, is it literally, is. literally, you know what? We don't give a shit about plot. We're just going to have more dancing. You know, granted, they don't save the rec center. Yeah, exactly. There's no rec center to save, so it's not an exact port, but it's the same goddamn movie. You guys didn't bring Electric Boogaloo up once. What, Break I, into electric boogaloo. And let me explain man. to you kids out there because there's a lot of kids oh, who don't remember this. Is. Do they? Because a lot of them hear electric boogaloo. They hear something, something part two, electric boogaloo. And I can guarantee you there's a lot of kids who don't know. There's a movie called Breaking, and then there was a movie called Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. Now, 
this stuff is all over YouTube, man. If you if, if you, you want to know the beauty, the majesty that is Electric Boogaloo without having to Netflix it or without having to go to your video store, check out YouTube because that, that shit's all over there. Damn, it I actually, is not any good. No, it is terrible. And I actually saw that in a the theater. I shouldn't probably say <laughs> that. But, man, I was a kid. I was a little guy. I didn't know any better. And shit. Every, every kid when I was an age was, in, was into Dude, break we dancing. all couldn't wait for that movie. Exactly. Like, oh, my God. It's another break-in movie. They're going to dance. They're going to do the bad. Spin. And that's exactly what this movie did. Go look at the review. And and the thing is, I couldn't get Electric Boogaloo in there because if you saw the review, it wasn't that's not false. Co host went crazy at the end. I didn't understand what was happening. And after it was said and done, I couldn't go back and edit it. Why don't you guys let co host go to movies more often? Now you know why. Because we get <laughs> Dancing ass babies. That's what we get out of the guy. <laughs> well, apparently people love that, man. <laughs> people love that well, review. You know what the thing is, is, you know, people love that kind of stuff when it comes to a movie like that. Yeah. You know, what, if there was ever a movie that you didn't need to pause and jump in. Oh, sorry, I'm raising your mic right that's here. That's okay. If there was ever a movie where you didn't need to pause and jump in and explain how the movie was, it was step up to the streets. And you understand why. Dude, no, I know why. I'm just saying if you there have was to put ever it in there. one that you no, didn't have to. The thing is, I went to go see the movie after it was said and done. I was like, why the fuck am I here, man? I mean, everybody knows that this shit is all about dancing. That's it. No no story. There's nothing else. Bad acting. But anyway, no, let's go to our number one movie. Number one movie which is Jumper. what I told you what it was, which is going to be Jumper. I have to prove again that I was right. See? Exactly. But look, the thing I'm is, right. I'm you, right. I'm right. Because you argued me on that, and I said, dude, look. I didn't think it. Dude, I didn't. In fact, you, you're not the only one. There, uh, One of my editors on my other site said, dude, you, you kind of called it wrong. I don't do the tracking numbers. I don't I don't actually go into all the tracking the stuff. The thing is, you got to recognize marketing. I, 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 I do. This, this list right here, I can tell you, look, I'm not that good at it, but this week, just because of of the way these movies were marketed, I know precisely where everything was going to fall. And the reason why New Jumper was going to be number one is just because you saw it everywhere. And Fox marketed the hell out of that out of that movie. See, I didn't and, see and any of the advertising. You did. I saw a few of the trailers. No, I I thought they were dumping. For some reason, wherever I was, Jumper was not. I don't know I where you no were, clue. but dude, you cannot go on a website without Jumper coming up. You could, in fact, if you watched any kind of Fox show, Family Guy, or anything. Oh, see, I don't watch. Chris, Hayden Christensen would come up in the corner of the screen, but like, what the fuck is he jumping in the middle of fa a Family Guy for? And that's what would happen, and they marketed it the hell out of that out, out of that movie. And well, hey, and, you know you what? Know. It's good to see that whiny Darth Vader got himself. In it, you know? <laughs> right now, teenagers are ruling, but that is not always the case. It it mm. changes from year to year, and right now, the teenagers are ruling, and they're making modest hits out of shit like Meet the Spartans and Step Up to the Streets. I know you motherfuckers need to change that. Shit. I, I, don't, I don't care how some teenage fucking ass. Exactly. Right now, I don't. Dude. I will. If I saw you coming in to Meet the Spartans, I will kick nap you and put you in a dumpster. I will come to your MySpace and beat the shit out of you with your Blackberry. That's what the fuck I'm going to do. I don't do. care if you are 13 years old. I will whoop your little motherfucking ass for watching that movie, you oh. little fucking freak. Oh, and I keep getting people who, who message me going, dude, I should have listened to you. You're so right about Meet the Spartans. Don't fucking tell me that. You're not going to win any fact, points with me. Yeah. I told you how fucking bad You know, we is. say don't go see the movie. What do you do? You go see the fucking movie. And, and people are like, ass. how come it's still in the top 10? Because you guys are dumbasses. That's yeah. why. Exactly. You know, you're fucking oh. YouTube watching motherfuckers. You. We just lost half of our audience. But that's I don't okay. give a damn. They'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, they haven't gone anywhere. We like you guys. Come on. We were just kidding with you. No, we're not. No, actually. No, we're we we will whoop your, your ass. You're, your ass. you're looking for the bottle opener here. <laughs> you're you looking like a retarded. All over no, you look like a retarded person. You're just pointing. Eh, well, beer. I'm not. It's, it's, you could say it over the over the air. You look like, hey, give I'm me a just, beer. I, you were in the middle of saying something. I, 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 I appreciate your politeness. Thank you. So anyway, uh, what what do you got next? Well, I mean, there's a couple cool things. That, or, well, a cool thing and a depressing thing. Let's go with the cool thing first. Okay, let's go with the cool thing. Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. This nah, is the coolest news to happen. That's the Terry week. Gilliam movie. This is the new Terry Gilliam film. This is the film that they were in the middle of shooting. And Heath Ledger died. And Heath Ledger died. How dare he? And he's one of the main characters in the film. And they were going to use him for like every scene, right? And he was, he's the he was heavily in the film. In the, yeah, he was the main he's guy. one of the main characters. So, apparently... Now, if you haven't heard this yet, this is the coolest freaking news to come out last week. I just love it. Everyone's like, oh, indie trailer. Oh, this and that. Oh, Hulk. Oh, no. Coolest thing, Imaginary with Dr. Parnassus. Because what they did is apparently the way the film is written, it's written in a fantasy sense to where Heath Ledger's character can assume different forms. 
So what they're doing is they hired three heavyweights to come in and pay tribute to Heath Ledger and do the remaining parts of his film. And they're working the film to where the Heath Ledger character changes form and these three uh, actors are going to play his parts. Now, these are three heavy actors. I know who they are, but I'm going to let you tell. Well, the three heavyweights, of course, Jude Law. Yeah. Who, you know, vanished after being in everything for like a year. Well, good, because I got tired of seeing his fucking ass. Colin Farrell, who yes. vanished after being in everything. Well, for he was a year. in in Bruges. No, 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 no. But he vanished after, you know, he did like, he had his year where he was in five movies. Of and course. Then he, yeah. He kind of vanished away. And Johnny Depp. Who ain't never gone away. <laughs> well, because he doesn't do five movies in a year. He's, yeah. He, does, he chooses his projects wisely after the astronaut's wife, who wouldn't. <laughs> Oh, my God. I love him, but he went through that phase with Nick of Time. Oh, Nick then, of Time, man. That was a, and, some bullshit, and, boy. And, and then, you know, Astronauts, he did something else that was really shitty. And then he did, you know, uh, uh, Ninth Gate, which was really good, but a lot of people didn't dig. I heard that was bad. No, I, no, no, I, no, no. I think the fact that the tagline was the only movie uh, Carlisle liked. No, <laughs> no. There's a lot of people that like it, but it's a puzzle movie. It's a movie that the ending doesn't make a, a lick of goddamn sense when you walk out of it. That's not a good movie. Except that when you go and watch it again, you put it together and all the pieces are there and you're like, oh, crap. I ain't got time. Now. If I want to solve no, a puzzle, no, I go would, buy a puzzle. I would never recommend Ninth Gate I'll to get you. A you Rubik's are not cube. smart enough. You are just I'll admit not with you. I'll, I will admit to you. I'll go buy a Rubik's Cube if I want to solve a puzzle. I'm not going right. to go to a movie to solve a no, puzzle. But that's, but, and and that's, the, that's the problem with the movie is it's not a, a straight-up entertaining movie. It's for a certain type of person who wants to put a puzzle together. And I watched it with a bunch of friends. We had a great time, but I would not, you know, recommend it to everyone. But anyhow, so but that that was mixed. After that, everything he's been doing is is you know pretty freaking great. You know, it's some people don't like everything, but they're not bad choices. So, yeah, okay. but this can you imagine? And the thing is, is they're all talking about doing tribute to Heath Ledger. They're going to be doing their versions of his character that he created. Well, who is? Th- what are they going to be drinking and taking pills or something? What the hell? Who, who oh, is now Keith? see what? Oh, who is Heath that's Ledger? That's just okay. all right. All right, that's me. Okay, that's me. Okay, I'm sorry. But last hey. week you gave me crap for Joey about <laughs> Roy Scheider's career, and now now you're digging up the grave of Heath Ledger so you can pee all over the body. Okay, my 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 point is here is like. Has Heath Ledger really been known for his true personality? No, he's no, always no, no, played no, no. the character. Ta- no, you're you're missing the point. They're doing their versions of his character in Dr. Parnassus. They're watching the footage of what he did and then doing their riffs on it okay. in tribute to him. Okay, this could be crazy, but it's it could also be, be very cool. But you know what? It's something we all got to see. You know, of course. I was ta- telling huh. some friends about that, and they're like, I want to see that movie. When does it come out? I want to see it now. Of course, no. So course. That, I, could you think of a better, I mean, and they thought they were going to have to shut down the film. No, but I mean, they, good way to think your way around it. I don't know if it'll work. In the end, but who, who knows? knows? Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But then, of course, the depressing news. What? HD DVD is dead. It's like gone dead. Man, that ain't depressing. I don't, ha- I don't. Let me tell you something. I don't have one goddamn HD DVD in my collection at all. I do. And I'll tell you why, because I waited for that shit to happen. People, well, if you don't, let me, let me explain to people here. If, uh, in case you don't know, there's, there's been this uh, war Format between, war. Uh, yeah, exactly, between Blu-ray and HD DVD. And these are the, these are the new uh, t- the two new formats and of course like when VHS for those of you who are old enough to remember when VHS and beta came into existence there was the war between those two formats VHS of course eventually won now it's the same thing happening with this and well, apparently right now kind of uh, well apparently right now blu-ray has won blu-ray won uh, the the big news came out Friday and that was the final nail in the coffin it started earlier in the month Warner Brothers said yeah we decided we're gonna go blu-ray exclusive and they were a big supporter of HD and then other people started dropping and uh, Finally, on Friday, Walmart <laughs> said, yeah, we're not going to carry it. Exactly. So the minute Walmart said that, T- Toshiba, who makes the HD DVD player, said, we're not going to make it. It's anymore. funny you should say that because I was in Walmart and in Costco. And I don't know if Costco is worldwide. I guess it is. It was in a yeah. movie. But yeah, I was in there and they were fronting Blu-ray DVD. And when that was happening, I was like, oh, man, this shit is over. No, <laughs> it, it, it's over. I, and I. Arguably, I have an HD DVD oh. player. Oh, oh man, foul. god damn it. I got to pause this shit and wipe this shit up. Y'all, hold on. I got to spill my beer. Hold on. Where is party it? Foul. Party you got to keep in mind, I, man, I've been drinking all night way before I got here. So, hold on. 
Carlisle went to go use. We have a tenant here at the Spill Studios, and his bathroom is shitty, literally. And it was clean when you be. went in there. You yeah, no, it freaked me out because I, I needed to use the restroom, and and you're you're like, oh, dude, the bathroom's clean. I'm like, well, all right. Yeah, it's clean. Last enough. time I went in there, I literally lost my <laughs> X-wing, and some green dude came out and promised to teach me the force. It was Dagobah in there. <laughs> It was fucking insane. So now I go in there. It, it was a swamp when you went in there. It was, it, yeah. It's spick and span. I think, I think he heard us making 